Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I thought, you know, oh my god, the plug is so high. I can reach it. Yeah, it's kind of funny. That's just the way it's the place is designed. That's all. Um, <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd do like a. I've been doing a lot of fair food videos, and then I thank goodness for scheduling. And I was able to rearrange stuff to put some other stuff in, including like some fast food items that just came out. And uh, just mix up a little bit of that, do the stovers I was asked to do and stuff. Um, you know, I thought it's fair, I mean, because I got way ahead of it. Uh, you just saw the last fair food video, unless there's other places out there that I don't know about that I might go to. You know, that one last night with the corn dog special and the garbage fries for the last one. Uh, they had some group ones, big events. And our fair got canceled. Then they had something like a. Uh, just a food vendors thing, like like twenty ven like thirteen, fourteen vendors, and then because I was gonna go there last weekend, when I my sister, you know, and stuff wasn't working, so then she said like, man, maybe we shouldn't go there because there's a large crowd of people. You never know. I've been trying to avoid crowds. I mean, I you know I do go some places now with people and stuff like that, but I mean like huge, huge, giant crowds and stuff like that just because of what's going on, you know, that's not being talked about as much as it should be. Because um, I don't want to get sick. And she said, maybe we shouldn't go because of, you know, what? So yeah, that's a good idea. So we didn't go last week. Um, but I thought I'd do an evaluation of the... Well, technically, four places, well, five places, in a way, six places I, I went to. There was four different locations. And people, and someone asked where it's like Tail Sessions or Ross Sessions, they're all over. I mean, they're it's mobile. It's a food truck. It's mobile. I mean, I don't know exactly where to look at, but you can look it up on Facebook, and I'll probably tell you where they, where they, where they're out of. But they go all over, all over the place uh, for short amounts of time to make money and stuff, selling fair food in their wares and stuff like that. <coughs> and I thought I'd go through the prices and the place I thought was the most expensive, and then. The fair food items I thought were the best, and then uh, what I thought was the worst. And of course, I thought was the best deal, and I cost. Through. Of course, I thought was the worst deal. I thought I'd go on just talk about the price, and I'll tell you about what's best, what's worst, what's best deal, what's worst deal is. Um, well, first place we went to was Ross Cassage, because I heard about this a while back. John was telling me, and it was on the news and stuff. Um. My sister had to get something, and then she came. You got, uh, I got a surprise for you, because we were going to go to uh, Hickory Nail Grocery Store and um, Chuck's Country Cupboard, the Amish owned place. And I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know how well they're keeping things safe for their customers and stuff like that. So she, yeah, but eventually, whenever all this blows over, yeah, we'll probably go back there. Or maybe I don't know. And she said, Well, that's okay. Well, she said, I have a surprise for you. And okay. So I went there. I didn't bring my camera. Kind of went thinking about it. And we went and we went to Ross because said in this one thing in the woods because we used to drive by there all the time and there was like a beef brief clearing in there. There, I mean, there's a clearing with all like a big parking spot and then the woods kind of closed up right there. Lots of like um, what do you call it? Like carny food stuff. You know, the food uh, trucks where you see at the fair. And there, there, and they had like the elephant ear place open with had a giant inflatable elephant, just like Tales to Sessions Doughboy had a giant Doughboy on it. Elephant, and then on the other end was the Tater uh, Tater Shack. I went to Tater Shack. My sister and probably went to uh, the elephant ear place, and uh, I thought the price were pretty reasonable, around five. Five dollars usually for everything, and then maybe six dollars, maybe four, three, four, five, maybe six is the very most, and it wasn't too bad. Uh, I don't know how the price was at the other place, but they probably had the best deal. I thought the price was reasonable. Now the best deal of the all the places I went to, they and I kind of got like this inadvertently, was um, my husband. Um, they had this thing of like buy one get one free deep fried Oreo cookies. For five, it was five dollars. You get five of them, so you get buy one get one free, so you get ten for five bucks. And then almost I can't eat all this. And he gave me, gave me an order of those. So I had those, and those are fantastic. I mean, those are really good. Not the best thing I had to fear though. Um, 
So, I mean, the prices there were pretty reasonable. Now, we went to, uh, now, there was one place that was pretty uh, heavily advertised, uh, Edinburgh, behind, uh, uh, well, next to Fire Department, behind the Pizza Hut, which is now closed. I'm surprised there weren't a ton of people there wasn't. It was open for a few weekends, uh, a few four-day weekends, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for like three, four weekends in a row. Um, their pizza place. We went down there. Uh, for the most part, the prices were reasonable, except I thought uh, one thing that was outrageous, they had a pizza. You can get a large cheese pizza for $13, and then a t every topping was 2 bucks. It should have, for $13, it should have been come with one topping. And then uh, two dollars for each topping after that, but no, we got two tops. So I ended up being seventeen dollars. I think John wanted. I uh, got uh, pepperoni, and John wanted mushrooms. I think so that's what we got. It came to seventeen. I mean, I thought that was they should have. I mean, cause I talked to Spoof about it. And Spoof said they they should have included uh, <clears throat> one topping with it for thirteen bucks instead of just a large cheese pizza. Um. So I mean, but the prices there I thought were pretty good. Now, he went to a place I'd never heard of before, R&B Concessions, and very little advertising. I had just saw it by accident. They said that they'd be behind the one bank. Uh, and I just know that I guess the bank was bought up from some uh, Sunny Sunnyville Farms or something like that, selling their wares or something like that. I didn't know. And I guess they had a Gito's truck there just for that one Sunday from like 11 o'clock in the morning to like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And, uh, now I know they're out of West Springfield. I did see it on the truck. But I never heard of the place before. Maybe it's someplace new. I don't know. I mean, he put a big thing gear. It was a very limited menu, but I thought the prices were great. And for what you got, they were pretty good. Uh, was $7. Then you got a lot of stuff there. Slovakia so was $8. Bucks. I didn't have the fries, though. I, the Greek dogs were, hot dog was 2 bucks. Greek dog was 3 bucks. Um, and, uh, I will say about the tater truck, I think that I got a pop. I think the guy didn't charge for a pop. The first play Ross said so that in a way that was the best deal. Free pop. Um Okay, next was okay, next was the um Well the wooden nickel buffalo farm. The wooden nickel buffalo farm might have been next. That was during Labor Day weekend. And they had like their food I mean went to the gift shop, they get uh, very expensive in the gift shop. I mean that's not part of the fair, but very expensive. Like a four pack of the bison burgers was sixteen dollars. And I didn't know that. Because they emailed me or seen there's no price tags on the burgers. But I wanted to get them. I was like, I hope they ain't that much. I thought it'd be maybe ten, eleven bucks. I think it'd be you no know, sixteen. Cause I know I mean some of the things like the six pack of the here uh hot dogs were fourteen or fifteen. I mean I didn't think it'd be sixteen dollars for that. Oh well. I thought they were pretty, uh, I mean, I mean, it's an expensive cut of meat. I mean, it wasn't much presentation and stuff like that. The price was between 5 and 6 with a doll for a pop. And then I don't think he charged for pop either. Um, I think the biggest disappointment of all the fair food things, what he said, like people, uh, there was two items that weren't on the menu. One was a buffalo sausage with peppers and oh no, I would love that. I think it was still five bucks. The other one, which I thought was a bigger thing, because John wanted that too, but they said they didn't have any more. People watching for carbs, they had a um, bison dog with a dill pickle bun. Now, I would love to try that, and he said they didn't have any more. Um, so, but I thought they were pretty reasonable prices. And then last but not least is Taylor Concession, the biggest offender. And I think they had, I, I had really sticker shock there. Uh, at there, because I expected, you know, like, the price of the Italian side like, five or six bucks. There was one place we always went to, like, open grill, giant open grill, where they, you see them grilling the steak, where they just had steak hoagies and Italian sausage, and then they had, uh, the onion and the pepper, all on a giant grill. They were seven bucks. Now, I saw, like, a little thing on the news about that giant festival with all the fair food vendors, including those guys, there, and they raised the seven fifty. Okay. Taylor said it was nine bucks. I was like, "Holy crap!" I never paid nine bucks for that. I know a lot of people saying like these fair food, uh, these items were pricey, like Crickle Eats and uh, Tyler. I know they have to make money, but boy, that's expensive. I mean, and then I know my friend Jonathan two eighteen said uh, two ten said Jonathan Edwards two ten said 
Yeah, the prices aren't too high at the. What happened? Oh, are are uh, pretty uh, high at the fair. He like he say he likes to call it the unfair, and he put hell on that. This was a few years back. I used to do fair food reviews. I went there last year, not this year. But I was able to do a bunch of fair food stuff. Like I said, um, I think the most outrage. I mean, because everything was expensive. I mean, hot dogs were two bucks. Okay, that was, that was okay. Well, the corn dog special was six dollars. For two corn on a thing of fries, that was probably the best deal. Then the hot dogs for two dollars was okay. The biggest thing I thought the most outrageous thing was the deep fried brownie I had was three balls for seven bucks. You know, I mean like this, three balls. And, and the, that one the most outrageous. This was the most outrageous thing. She said, well, you can have it topped with powdered sugar, which is regular common on these things. Or for an extra three dollars, you can put chocolate drizzle on with just a little bit of uh, chocolate from a ball for an extra three bucks. I think that's the most outrageous. That was outrageous. So I said, no, nah, I'll stick with the powdered sugar. I didn't know how big those things were. I thought it would be like a big piece of brownie deep fried. I didn't know it would be three balls like that. But, I mean, that was really expensive. Um, but the deep fried brownie was one of the best things I had at the fair. They were so good. They were fantastic. I just thought it would be a big piece of brownie deep fried. And then someone said I should try a deep fried cheesecake, which I didn't even think about. I just got, I mean, because I didn't get too many sweets. I got the deep, that deep fried and the deep fried shrink. It looked like it shrunk. $7 is expensive, too. Just kind of like chocolate. And the deep fried uh, Oreo cookies are fantastic, but I didn't quite make my best of the fair food I had this year. I mean, it was close. But the best time they had was a deep fried brownie. Uh, that bacon chicken uh, ranch sub from that Ross, that was fantastic. I mean, that, was, that might have been the best thing. Well, right next to... That might have been the best thing. That was the biggest surprise. I thought it would be good, but I didn't think it would be as good as it was. It was awesome. That was wonderful. And then the meatball sub at, um, at Ross, it was very small, but it was he stuffed it full. And he said, it's very messy. He gave me a fork and knife, put in a little thing with it. Yeah, but it, he stuffed it full, and it was fantastic. Uh, the best deal, I think, of ever, well, the one that I went getting free, and also Slovakian salad, which was a salad, different items, including grilled uh, strips of chicken in there from the R&B concessions. And John said, did they play R&B there? No, they didn't play anything. I think guys bummed out because there wasn't anyone there, but they didn't really advertise. And guys said, are you coming here back again? He said, well, maybe if I get bored. I mean, I'd like to know, you know. Uh, but so, I mean, I didn't get fried there though. The Slovakian salad was good. I mean, I had that leftovers because that was good. Uh, salad was good for leftovers. I mean, I, I got a Sunday, and that last week some for leftovers Monday, and a little bit in the Tuesday too. So I mean, in a way, that was the best deal. But uh, buy one get one free. Oreos was the, was the best deal too. I mean, their price was really good there at um, R and B. And then I think the worst. Um, the probably the worst item were the fries I got with the corn dog spider. They were just average. They weren't that good. They were like a six out of ten. Usually the fries at the fair are good. The fr I mean, I only got I got fries there and I got fries at um, the Tater Shack, a large single fry. And those were good. I mean, the heavenly fries are still the best. But I mean, you know, we didn't have that there. You know, they would have made a ton of money, I think. But I mean, that's pretty much my. Uh, Valuation of the fair food I had. I mean, it lasted for a few weeks. Like I said, I didn't hang out with John last weekend, but he probably thought I did. Well, I mean, two weekends ago. Not last, not like, not on, uh, I hung out with him on the 26th, but I mean, the week prior to the weekend, prior to that, you probably thought we hung out because I still had a bunch of videos and stuff, but I, we didn't hang out that weekend. Um, but I'm catching up with the main videos. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Dang it, talking too much. I got Burger King video coming up next. Revisiting the Steakhouse King after three and a half years. Because I wasn't sure if I had that before. And I looked up on uh, Video Manager. Because some of the stuff you just don't remember. I mean, like a lot of Taco Bell stuff, I don't remember having and stuff like that. Unless it really, really stands out. And then they got rid of most of their menu anyways. Um, yeah, when I first started video, the air conditioner still on it. 8 o'clock at night, because it was in the 80s today. I'm, of course, on a Sunday. And we had, like, a last blast summer. I mean, then we're getting a cold front coming in today, which would be the day upload would be Tuesday. High be 72, 73, and then it's going to get into the 
I'd be like the mid to low 60s, so I'm going to get cold again, but that's okay. So I hope you like this review, everybody. I mean, not review, evaluate the fair food I had over the last month or so. But like I said, I schedule, I move some things around. And I hope you like the video. And until next time, bye, please take care of my legion.